Europe has some of the most beautiful cities in the world, filled with breathtaking landscapes, beautiful beaches, stunning architecture, and in all, some of the most beautiful places you'd ever see. In this video, we're taking you through three of the most beautiful cities in Europe, showing you some of the best places you should definitely visit, if you ever find yourself in one of them. So, if you are ready for this short tour, put on your sunglasses, grab a chilled drink, and let us take you on a pleasant trip to Europe's finest cities. Number 3 Rome. The Eternal City is, without a doubt, not just one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, but in the world. This city has been in existence for two millennia, and its characteristic architecture still boasts of the rich history of a place, that once was the center of one of the most dominant empires in human history, the Roman Empire. Today, Rome is a modern city, that has managed to preserve its past, mixing ancient structures in a blend of some of the most stunning modern architecture in the world. This mixture of ancient and modern taste is, partly, what makes Rome such a unique city. Spend a few weeks in Rome, and every day, you'll uncover something intriguing and new. Whether you pay a visit to its rich museums, its archaeological sites, or its peaceful well-tended parks, Rome is a wonderful city, that keeps giving. If you find yourself in Rome someday, one of the places you should visit, is the world-famous Colosseum. A symbol of the city of Rome, believe it or not, this archaeological site is over 2,000 years old. The fact, that it still stands today, is a testament to the brilliant engineering and architecture of its days. In its day, the Colosseum held up to 80,000 people in a single event, hosting free-for-all shows for the citizens of Rome. But perhaps one of the most impressive features of the Colosseum was a movable fabric roof, called, Valerium, a special roof that could be moved to cover the Colosseum in bad weather conditions. This was 2,000 years before soccer stadiums in Europe started installing retractable roofs, that's pretty impressive, you have to say. But if visiting archaeological sites is not your thing, Rome has a lot more to offer you, like the beautiful, Il Buco di Roma, one of the most attractive places in all of Rome. Although somewhat hidden and difficult to find, Il Buco di Roma is the place to be, if you want to impress that special someone. At the end of the avenue, you'll find some lovely vegetation, framed in the form of a keyhole, through which you can see St. Peter's Cathedral. Not too far from Il Buco di Roma, is Il Buco di Roma, a stunning garden filled with lots of orange trees. The main attraction here is certainly not the orange trees, as most of the oranges are quite bitter. Rather, you'll enjoy the lush greenery, and just a few meters from the garden, you'll find a lovely terrace overlooking the Tiburum River, and the city skyline. Right there, you'll also be greeted with a great view of Palatine Hill, and if you happen to visit in May, you could be treated to a free entrance into the Municipal Rose Garden, another beautiful spot in the city of Rome. Capitoline Hill is where you'll find the Capitoline Museums, which host a 600-year-old exhibition, that takes you through the history of the Eternal City from the days of its birth. Designed by the legendary Michelangelo, the beautiful square at Capitoline Hill bears a lovely equestrian statue of the great emperor, Marcus Aurelius. A visit to Rome will not be complete without stepping into one of the most iconic buildings in all of Rome, the awe-inspiring Pantheon. Like the Colosseum, the Pantheon was built thousands of years ago, and, considering the technology and materials available at the time, it is rather incredible, that the Pantheon still remains the biggest dome in the world made only out of concrete. Originally built as a pagan temple, the Pantheon has served as a Catholic church since the 7th century and it is alternatively known as the Santa Maria della Rotunda. Other must-see places in Rome include the Vatican Museums, the Squared Colosseum, Villa Torlonia, the Annian Valley Nature Reserve, and the gorgeous Altare della Patria, translated in English as Altar of the Fatherland. Number 2 Barcelona. It is almost impossible to convince a native of Catalonia, that Barcelona is not the most beautiful city in the world. For many Spaniards, who hail from the city of Barcelona, Barcelona is much more, than just a city. It is a symbol of the Catalan culture, the pride of the Catalan people, and one of the choicest destinations for tourists from all over the world. From the food to the culture, the history, the atmosphere, and the weather, Barcelona is simply a wonderful place to be, as there's so much to enjoy here. Situated next to the Mediterranean Sea, Barcelona has one of the most important ports in the Mediterranean, making it one of the most critical financial and commercial cities in Spain. While Barcelona touches the Mediterranean on one side, it is encircled by wooded mountains. 
Within the city, you'll enjoy the view of the gorgeous Catalan architecture, several beautiful churches, and one of the prettiest pedestrian thoroughfares you'll ever see, known as La Rambla. Barcelona is awash with lots of stunning places to visit. From the famous Gata's Basilica La Sagrada Familia, to the Ghoul Park, the Casa Mila, and the Casa Botlo, these are some of the places you definitely have to visit while touring this lovely city. You should also check out the massive open-air plaza, known as La Plaza Real, the Gothic Quarter, with its winding streets and stunning architecture, the Taitabato Mountain, with its breathtaking views, and of course, the Taitabato Amusement Park, which is an absolutely fun place to be. We also shouldn't forget the magic fountain of Monjuic, and its spectacular illuminated water shows. A visit to the Poble Español will furnish you with insightful knowledge of the traditional culture of the Catalan people, and their over 100-year-old architectural diversity. And if you are an art lover, then you shouldn't miss out on a visit to the Fran Doral Museum, where you'll be treated to some of the stunning works of Picasso, Dali, Miro, Tapies, and Barcelo. Summertime in Barcelona can be extremely hot, but with lots of excursion deals on offer at that time of the year, you could enjoy lovely bus rides around the city, and pay a visit to the beautiful Montserrat Monastery, where Eagle's Nest, located some 1,200 meters in the air offer truly spectacular views of the city. And of course, apart from the beautiful spots located all over the city of Barcelona, don't forget to try out the delicious Spanish cuisine in the thousands of lovely restaurants scattered all over Barcelona. Number 1. Paris. There is a reason Paris is called the city of love, and it is not for nothing. Clearly, no other European city was going to beat Paris to the top spot. We might be talking about the most beautiful cities in all of Europe, but Paris does not just stand out as the most stunning city in Europe alone, but it is right up there, as arguably the most beautiful city in the world. When it comes to picking out the most beautiful spots in the French capital, we are spoilt for choice. Where exactly do we start? How about the River Seine? One of Paris's major attractions. Tourists literally pour into Paris, just to behold this beautiful avenue. La Seine winds its way through the heart of Paris, crossing the city of lights from the east to the west. In fact, the city of Paris won't be what it is today without the River Seine. The river was the backbone of the city's development in ancient times. As you stroll along the banks of River Seine, on a beautiful, sunny day, you'll be greeted with the lovely reflections of Paris's majestic and historical buildings in the waters of Seine. Then, there are the lovely bridges of the Seine, each one built with a unique artistic style, that appeals to the soul of every observer. Paris is what it is today, in major part, because of its stunning architecture. The city can be aptly described as a city museum, thanks to its mixture of architectural styles, ranging from the Roman era to the Middle Ages, the Haussmannian creations to the contemporary architectural masterpieces. From Pei's stunning pyramid, which is surrounded by the classic courtyard of the Louvre, to the modern center Pompidou, sitting right in front of Gothic St. Mary Church, or the Musée du Quai Branly, located right at the foot of the Eiffel Tower, Paris is filled with so many examples of contrasting architectural styles, placed side by side, bringing out a rich beauty, that can only be observed in Paris. To really enjoy the breathtaking views of the city's landscape, and the contrasting, but rich, blend of the city's architecture, you should visit one of the many landmarks in Paris, such as the world-famous Eiffel Tower, an architectural masterpiece of its own, the Tour Montparnasse, or the Arc de Triomphe. Nothing will prepare you for the absolutely stunning views you will enjoy from any of these structures, especially when you look over the city at night. Paris boasts of some 153 museums, with the Louvre and the Orsay museums being the most popular. But you can also visit the Modern Art Museum for a more peaceful place to enjoy some of the best artworks in the city. Paris has over 450 parks and gardens, with lots of healthy safe spaces to take in nature's beauty. Some of the best parks in the city include the Luxembourg Gardens, the Tuileries Gardens, and some lesser known, but equally beautiful gardens, like Parc des Buttes Chaumont or the Promenade Plante. Finally, a visit to Paris is not complete without a stop at some of its high-end fashion shops, which boast the likes of world-leading brands, like Coco Chanel, Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton, and Yves Saint Laurent. Today, Paris is the capital of haute culture and fashion, and with some of the best labels located in the city, especially within the famous Golden Triangle of Paris, there's no better place in the world to get high-end fashion than in the City of Lights. So, have you been to any of these cities? 
If you have, we'd love you to share your experience in the comment section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications, so you never miss any of our awesome videos. See you next time.